Of all the natural disasters on Earth, few are as terrifying as a tsunami. In a matter of minutes, entire coastlines can vanish beneath walls of water taller than skyscrapers. History has seen earthquakes, eruptions, and even asteroid strikes that have sent enormous waves racing across oceans, wiping out everything in their path. Today, we're counting down the five tallest tsunamis ever recorded. Events so powerful, they permanently changed the landscape of our planet. Most tsunamis begin with massive underwater earthquakes, when the seafloor suddenly shifts and displaces millions of tons of water. But there's a rarer kind, one that has nothing to do with earthquakes or volcanoes. It's called a mega tsunami, a wave triggered by something far more violent, like a collapsing mountain, a giant landslide, or even an asteroid impact. And the first event on our list wasn't just a wave, it was a planet-changing disaster. Number five, around 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid, estimated to be up to 50 miles wide, slammed into what is now Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The impact created a crater over 90 miles across, known today as Chicxulub, and it sent shockwaves through the entire planet. The explosion displaced so much water that it generated a mega tsunami over 100 meters high, a wave so huge scientists believe it reached as far inland as modern-day Chicago or even Canada. But the tsunami itself wasn't what doomed the planet. The asteroid's impact threw dust and vapor into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight for months, collapsing ecosystems, and bringing an end to the dinosaurs. Still, it stands as the largest and most devastating tsunami event our planet has ever known. Number four. In the south of Japan lies the island of Kyushu, a region shaped by volcanoes and restless tectonic plates. Among them stands Mount Unzen, a towering volcanic complex near the city of Shimabara. For centuries, it slept in silence, surrounded by small fishing towns and farmlands. But in 1792, that silence ended. A series of earthquakes shook the area throughout the spring. Then, one evening in May, part of the mountain collapsed into the Ariake Sea. The falling mass of rock and soil displaced an enormous volume of water, creating a wave unlike anything Japan had ever seen. The tsunami reached nearly 330 feet, around 100 meters, high sweeping across the bay and smashing into the opposite shore. It then rebounded, striking Shimabara a second time. Entire villages disappeared within minutes, and an estimated 14,000 lives were lost. The event remains Japan's deadliest volcano-related disaster, a tragic reminder that in a country built on shifting ground, the sea can become just as dangerous as the fire beneath it. Number three, on the morning of May 18, 1980, the world witnessed one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in modern history. Mount St. Helens, located in Washington state, had been rumbling for weeks, warning of something massive beneath the surface. When the northern slope of the volcano finally gave way, it triggered the largest landslide ever recorded on land. Millions of tons of rock and soil collapsed down the mountainside and into nearby Spirit Lake. The impact displaced an unimaginable amount of water, sending a wave nearly 860 feet, or 260 meters, high surging up the surrounding slopes. Trees, debris, and entire chunks of shoreline were hurled into the air. Within moments, the tranquil lake had doubled in size, it was one of the few times in history that an inland tsunami was documented, a wall of water born not from the ocean, but from the mountain itself. The force of the wave destroyed everything in its path before being consumed by the eruption's fiery aftermath. Mud, ash, and molten rock poured down the valley, filling rivers and reshaping the land for decades to come. Today, Spirit Lake still bears the scars of that day, its water level is now carefully monitored, serving as a reminder of how quickly calm can turn into chaos when Earth decides to move. Number two, in the Italian Alps, about 100 kilometers north of Venice, lies the quiet Vajant Valley. In the late 1950s, engineers began building one of Europe's tallest hydroelectric dams here, the Vajant Dam, 
designed to hold back millions of tons of water for power generation. But from the very beginning, there were warnings. The mountain above the dam, Monte Tak, was unstable. Locals reported strange noises, tremors, and small landslides. Scientists raised concerns, but construction continued. To ease pressure, engineers decided to lower the water level in the reservoir, a move they believed would make the mountain safer. They were wrong. On the night of October 9, 1963, an enormous section of Monte Tak, roughly 260 million cubic meters of rock and earth, broke free and plunged into the reservoir below. The sudden impact sent a wave more than 250 meters high surging over the top of the dam. Entire villages in the valley were erased within seconds. The air pressure from the wave was said to be more powerful than an atomic explosion. Thousands of lives were lost, their towns buried beneath mud and debris. The dam itself remained standing, a haunting monument to human pride and the devastating consequences of ignoring nature's warnings. Today, the Vajont Dam still towers over the valley, silent and empty, a concrete reminder that even mankind's greatest engineering can fail in the face of geological reality. Number one, in the rugged wilderness of Alaska lies a narrow fjord known as Latuya Bay, calm, remote, and surrounded by towering cliffs. But on the night of July 9, 1958, that calm was shattered. A powerful earthquake measuring magnitude 7.8 struck the region. It loosened an enormous section of rock, more than 30 million cubic meters, from the side of a mountain high above the bay. The rock fell nearly 900 meters before slamming into the water below, creating one of the most violent displacements of water ever recorded. What followed was beyond imagination. A wall of water, 1,720 feet, over 520 meters, tall, shot upward and outward through the fjord. Trees were ripped from the slopes as if by a giant hand, the bark stripped clean for miles. Boats anchored in the bay were tossed into the air like toys. Miraculously, only a handful of people were in the area that night. Of the three boats present, two were destroyed instantly, but one man and his wife survived lifted by the wave and carried safely back into open water. Their account remains one of the most extraordinary survival stories ever told. The Latuya Bay tsunami still stands as the tallest wave in recorded history, a reminder that nature's most destructive power can come from the quietest places on Earth. One moment, a calm bay beneath the stars. The next, a wave taller than a skyscraper rewriting the landscape in seconds. 